Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? Today is day 12 of the 88-step program where we take our notebook and have our goals written down so that we can keep ourselves focused throughout the day. We are able then able to see what is keeping us from those goals or see what are some of the things that are keeping us going towards those goals, correct? So is it something that we do throughout the day that keeps us from our goals or is the things that we do throughout the day helping us achieve our goals? And as yesterday we were talking about how in right now in 2021, there is a lot of misinformation and fear and scare and opinions and, well, very difficult to know what's going on. The whole world is experiencing the same thing. We're all trying to deal with a plague sickness and it's affecting every single part of the world. Not just you as an individual, not just me as an individual, not me as in my country or any, the whole world is affecting and being affected by the exact same thing right now. And if we think about this, this has never been done or happened in any human life history. No one alive today has experienced something like this on the world and would probably have to go back many, many, many generations and maybe well maybe a couple thousand years to go back to a point in time in history where the whole world is experiencing the same thing a illness a plague that is worldwide of biblical proportions is that correct is that safe to say that the year 2021 is having a pandemic worldwide of biblical proportions. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain that that's safe to say. And so as I repeat, there's been no one on the earth that's alive right now that has experienced a biblical worldwide experience that we're all experiencing at the exact same time. To, to sit there and to say that there is an individual on this earth that doesn't have a sickness virus flu, whatever, pandemic, plague, on their mind, uh, it, it, it's, I, I don't think that's possible. Now, I mean, there's people that will then ignore it by going out and doing things by ignoring it, but we're all being affected by it. Our jobs, our, our stores, our doctors, our just everything. Our worldwide, worldwide. We're all experiencing this thing. And yet we all think differently about it, correct? We're all individuals. We're all being affected by it differently. Especially if you know, okay, so how is it being affected differently? We're all experiencing the same thing, but how is it affecting us differently? Well, I'm not a six-year-old girl, right? I'm a 55-year-old man. Of course, it's going to affect me differently than this person. I have different responsibilities than this person, correct? It all's affecting us differently. And this is how God works in a similar situation. If there was a way that God could come down and sit there and say, we all will do this. And then we can be kumbaya. 
one religion, one world order, one world government, one world happiness. We're all equal. There's no racism. There's no separation. There's no financial division. There's no nothing. We're all just the exact same. I'm going to use my very favorite Twitter. We're all just a dot. Nothing more, nothing less. That's all we're going to be. If you had potential, too bad, we're going to be a dot. If you're not able and need help in certain areas, too bad, we're all just going to be a dot. It's not possible for all of us to have the same experience or the same rule or the same experiences to get us to understand God and Jesus as Christ's grace. We've all had different experiences. We've lived in different parts of the world. Absolutely impossible for us all to have the same question and the same answer, therefore the same goals. You must know yourself so that you're not sidetracked by a bunch of spinning wheels that are all over the world. That you can keep yourself focused so that you can be, well, strong within yourself so that you can hear God and Jesus Christ. Okay. Now, I want to sit there and say, why is it so important to do these notepads on a day-to-day -day basis? So that we can see the progress. So that we can literally see the progress. We can, when, when we clean up the house, yeah, we see the progress. Okay, what was the example? I was thinking about, okay, somebody was going to want to cook more home-cooked meals. Better meals for their family, their children, or whatnot. I'm using this as an example. Now, if, 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 if a parent does this, and they're like, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I see myself doing that more often. But if they wrote it down on a calendar, they would see that it was three times a week, four times a week, one time a week, only on the weekends. Well, then you would see a pattern which would allow you then to focus on different parts of the day. You'd be like, wait a minute, how come I never on Wednesdays ever do a home-cooked meal? Well, there might be reasons because of school recital or things, but there's a lot of patterns in our lives that we do not, do not recognize and that we fall victim to them on a day-to-day, year-to-year basis. If we're not aware of these patterns, we can become depressed in the wintertime going, how come I'm not doing as much work? Well, then in the wintertime, we have six to sometimes eight hours less, depending on where you live, of daylight during a day. During the summer, you're going to get more done and you actually literally sleep less in the summer when there's more sun than you do in the winter time. And if you're not aware of these seasonal patterns and realize that they do dictate your life, you might sit there in the winter, go and get depressed because of lack of sunlight, pressure, sleeping more, not realizing that in the winter, your body's designed to sleep maybe a two or three hours more than it is in the winter. I kind of like it when my life is so exciting that I stay up late and go to bed or wake up early and then even wake up in the middle of the night and do a couple hour project. That's what I like because I'm excited about things. But if you're not aware of these patterns, other issues can come into your mind, your heart, and your soul. So have yourself consciously thinking of your progress, why you're doing your progress, and realize we're all in the same boat right now, the lack of a better term. But we're all definitely definitely more than a dot be more than a dot god bless you patriots i'll see you tomorrow on day 13